It is the middle of January, um, well, the 14th of January, and we are firmly in the middle of winter. We live in a house that's been, that was built in the 1870s and that is heated by a heat pump. It's a house with double glazing throughout. It's got loft insulation. It's got a small extension at the back of the house that's built to modern standards. But if you read some of the coverage about heat pumps, we should be struggling to heat our home. But at the moment, we're pretty happy. But there's a big but, I hear you cry. This winter so far has actually been fairly mild. If you look at degree days, which is a metric that can be used to estimate heating demand, and I've talked about it in a video that you can find over here somewhere, at our closest weather station, which is near Newcastle, since the 1st of December, we have needed 10% less heat than last year and 3% less heat than in 2021. If you ignore the week-long cold snap at the start of December 2023, this year has, a, has had almost 20% fewer degree days than last year and 10% fewer than 2021. What I'm trying to say is that it's been fairly warm. I'm not a climate scientist, I'm a mechanical engineer, um, so I can't really explain why it's been this warm. But if you look at some of the graphs for temperature at the end of last year, you can see that 2023 ended with some fairly outrageous numbers, whether that was El Nino or some kind of other freak weather or just the impact of a warming world. I'll let you argue about that in the comments um, rather than answering that here. But it does mean that our heat pump hasn't had to work that hard or as hard as it did last year anyway, which means it's performed really well. And we've been comfortable at home the whole time. The heat pump has averaged an efficiency of 342%. I haven't taken meter readings every single day and I've not got the snazzy open energy monitor software that sometimes you see people talking about online. But you can see that for sometimes over the last six weeks, the heat pump has been really flying. Sometime over 400% efficient uh, and during the cold snap at the start of December, just under 300%. Overall, it means that at the price cap rates of 29 pence per kilowatt hour for electricity and 7 pence per kilowatt hour for gas, the costs for our heat pump would have been about 20 pounds more to use our heat pump compared to a 90% efficient gas boiler. But on our agile tariff for electricity, our costs have been really quite low. Over the last two months, our average electricity rate has been 19.9 pence per kilowatt hour, which means that our heat pump has cost about £180 to run since the start of December, which is £60 cheaper than if it was using a gas boiler at the price cap and at 90% efficiency. Okay, this isn't a video about Optimus Agile or about heat pump costs. Um, ultimately, the heat pump has worked really well because the winter has been fairly mild this year. But this week, the weather forecast is for a cold snap. Apparently there are winds from the Arctic and we're told that, that those winds will bring cold weather, maybe some snow and plenty of negative temperatures. If you look at my weather app, it's going to be minus three, minus four overnight during the day, every day this week. So over the next week, I'm going to take readings from our electricity meter that serves a heat pump from the heat meter that comes from the heat pump as often as I can, hopefully daily to understand how the cold weather impacts our comfort. I'll see what the temperatures are internally too, and we'll see how the, how the weather impacts on heat pump efficiency and our costs. The forecast currently looks like next Sunday, the 21st, is that right? The weather will be pretty mild again. So I'll come back and see how we have done um, this week at some point next week. Okay, so what's your guess? What will our average cop be each day this week? Will we be saving using the Agile tariff versus the price cap or will it be really expensive to run a heat pump this week? Will we be comfortable or will, will, we, will we be using whatever supplementary heat we can, all the jumpers we can, all the hats that we can? I'm currently sat comfy in a t-shirt, so who knows? Come back next week to find out how we got on.